Hello, everyone. Welcome to this time of devotion. I am Patrick Honeycutt from Westminster. Today, we will revisit the pages of the prophet, prophet Isaiah, who said in chapter 30, For thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest you shall be saved, in quietness and trust shall be your strength. The context of this passage is the prophet's warning of calamity and doom and peril arising from the endemic sin and injustice and false worship of the people of God. And the warning that the prophet seeks to make is to not turn. He wants the people not to turn to false allies. In this case, in this chapter, that false ally is Egypt, to whom the Israelites wanted to turn for protection against the impending assault of foreign armies that were going to do great darn damage. And the prophet says, no, don't turn to them. Do not race and run to Egypt. The prophet continues, but you refused and said, no, we will flee upon horses. Therefore, says the prophet, you shall flee. But the people would say, no, we will ride upon swift steeds. No, says the prophet, therefore your pursuers shall be swift. I think we all have in, in times of anxiety and fear or doubt, we, we can turn to false allies, those things that might provide us comfort for a moment, but over the long haul will actually do us harm. Or those places of refuge that actually turn out to be places of great jeopardy. And so, as with the prophet and the book of Isaiah, there are just plenty of words of promise and invitation and also words of warning. Just as Jesus would say, blessed are those, but cursed are those as well. Consider today, who are your false allies? To what are you turning? For help that in the long run will not help you. Listen to the voice of the prophet who beckons us to return to that place of trust, quietness. Quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Let these words be your devotion today. Grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ.